what drugs they're smoking in Washington, D.C., but they... Did you know that TikTok is also banned in China? Yes, that's right. See, here's a list of apps that are banned in China. So TikTok is even banned in China. They don't use TikTok over there. They use something called Douyin, which is kind of like the Chinese version of TikTok. So the best argument I've heard from everywhere on the internet about banning TikTok, that we should ban TikTok, is because look at China. They've banned all of our American or US apps, all of our best apps. So therefore, we should ban theirs as well. <laughs> so fucking dumb. So dumb, man. So yes, China bans all these American apps or Western apps or Western newspapers. And what's his excuse? It's, well, basically everyone says China is a communist dictatorship ran by the CPC. That's what the newspapers tell you, right? That's what everyone tells you. That's why China bans all the freedom of information, all the freedom of speech, because they are a communist dictatorship. So then should United States, Australia, UK, should all of us copy this communist dictatorship? Because we're also a communist dictatorship in America, right? See, freedom of speech isn't defined as when a private entity such as Facebook or Google or say YouTube wants to stop you from saying something. Freedom of speech only applies to the government, right? You're granted the second amendment rights in the US, which means the government cannot censor you from saying something. And they even have a law saying that they cannot even stop foreign media from publishing facts that the government doesn't like. That's why it's called freedom of speech. And that's what's supposed to make America and Australia and the UK and Canada better than a communist dictatorship. Are we really better? Are we better than a communist dictatorship? But what about the data fraud? You know, the, the data, they're using the privacy of the, of the, the data. Uh, what about the data from Facebook? Did not Facebook sell all of your data to Cambridge Analytica? They made a lot of money off it and that's how they won the Brexit vote. Remember this? Or what about when Facebook sold all your private data to the consultants of Donald Trump campaign? And that is how Trump targeted those ads at people who would vote for him and he, oh, he won the election. Is there really a privacy and data threat from the Chinese owned TikTok when all this data is actually residing with US servers on Oracle? Is this about something else? Maybe, just maybe that the US government right now is getting a lot of lobbying from say Facebook, YouTube, Google, and all these other competitors who are losing to TikTok. Maybe this can be explained not by politics or racial discrimination. Maybe it can just be explained by plain old money and the Congress. Anyways, you are all gonna probably lose another avenue of smart, informed people like me who tell you the truth. So click on my stand link, and then you can follow me across Discord, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, whatever.